Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, you know, refreshing to see my, you know, name in the lineup card, you know, every day now. And when I was in St. Louis, it's it's hard. And it's and baseball is all about rhythm and timing. And it's hard to get into a groove when you're only getting two at-bats a week. Um, and, you know, you kind of feel like an outcast. You kind of feel like you're not a part of the team because you're not contributing kind of thing. And, and now uh, it's nice knowing that no, no matter what, that I'm always going to get a chance. And, you know, obviously, you know, you never know. I always got to keep working my butt off and competing to uh, maintain it. But um, it's, it's a confidence booster for sure when the coaches have your back, when your teammates have your back, and just even honestly the fan base has your back of knowing that you're going to go out there every day and, uh, you know, uh, have the confidence in, and they have the confidence in you to, get, to you know, get the, job, got, uh, get the job done. Defensively, uh how pleased have you been with your progress this spring? And are there any specific things you, you want to continue to work on in this camp? Um, yeah, it's been great so far. I only gotten like three ground balls, but hopefully that'll change. Um, but I feel like I've been on time. Um, I've gotten to review some of the video work with uh, our infield coaches, and they've been uh, impressed with my timing. Um, obviously, there's still room to grow. Um, and, you know, I just need, you know, obviously want more repetitions and, you know, more innings at first base, you know, through the next three weeks before season starts. But um, it's been great so far, and I feel good. You know, just keep working on my scoops and stuff to pick up the guys on bad throws and um, just be better on the bag. But, you know, I feel good right now. I feel like we ask a number of guys this during spring training, and it's just like you mentioned when you were kind of being aggressive on the base pass yesterday. You want to kind of protect yourself so you don't have to get anything hurt before the season starts, but it's tough to play the game at a slower speed, I guess, right? I mean, is that a tough thing to balance at this time of year? Yeah, because – like I said earlier, that competitive instinct pops in and, you know, you want to, you know, see what you, your body's got, how your body's feeling, um, you know, whether that's maybe going first or third or, you know, you know, like guarding their night, you know, testing out a double. Um, you know, it's, you know, the guys want to be ready for season and they got to put themselves in situations to be ready for season. And I think that goes to an extent, though, you don't want to obviously get hurt or, you know, push it down the line on maybe a ground ball that, you know, really doesn't matter. Um, so uh, you just got to be smart. And, you know, that's why I took a couple of days off with my knee. Just to, I didn't want that lingering going into season. And um, I think it's a maturity level with this team. And, you know, a trust fact with the trainers and, you know, coaches of, you know, being smart about certain situations. And honestly, we have depth, which is great, too. So um, if guys need a day, there's guys behind us that can step in, you know, and play a big role for us. I mean, the past couple of years, you've had to deal with a couple of things, Luke, that, that came up. And. I'm sure before then, maybe you kind of felt indestructible, maybe playing the game. Have you kind of learned to maybe be more careful with that stuff? Um, like I said, it's a maturity thing. And, you know, obviously I've always had a football mentality and you guys have seen that, you know, whether it's throwing my stuff in the dugout or, you know, um, having some bad language out of my mouth. But it's <laughs> it's a uh, part of the part of the game. And um, I've always been like that. But, you know, over the years, uh, you know, I'm getting older. I got to be smart and uh, take care of myself because um, I can only play this game so long. And, you know, I've always taken good care of myself. And, you know, maybe just one day will, you know, make me play, you know, uh, a couple more years of my career. You never know. Hey, Luke, just to, to follow up on that slide yesterday, you said that you, you gashed it pretty good. Was that the same left knee or can you just kind of explain that? Yeah, so my left knee was a knee that was kind of bothering me a little bit. And, uh, no, so I slid on my right tee and I wear a knee pad and my knee pad, slid on me yesterday and my knee just like I cut my knee it's it's a baseball injury everybody gets it and um instead of getting it during the summer now I'm not to deal with it the rest of the season so it's gonna be great it's great it's fun stuff especially when you shower after the game too it's terrible